Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, I'm Batbeard and today I have the Fire Spitter mod, yes that's right, Fire Spitter, the original prop propeller and the best actually in my opinion, uh, mod for propellers and planes here, this one. For example, the one that I just uh, touched and brought out is a folding electric propeller plane. And you know what? That's... Those are the engines that I want to put on this craft. Now, today is not just a rebuild of this craft. What I want to do is I want to pit this original, the KAX uh, Duna Light, against the Fire Spitter version, which I'm about to build. And I want to test them against each other, and whichever version is the best, wins the contest, and gets to go to space. Yes, today we're going to slap it on a rocket and take it up into the outside of the atmosphere, into the atmosphere, outside of the atmosphere, and then into space, and into space, outside of space, and then into Duna, and then Duna will receive it and be like, yes, we needed this, and, and mission will be somewhat complete. So that is today's episode synopsis in, uh, in brief, and... Let's get started with the episode right now. No time to waste. Except for the time that I'm wasting. Okay, everybody, we're in the starting positions. I can't fly both planes at the same time, however, I'm going to fly them individually, one by one. Now, here's the rules. The rules are we must take off uh, after the tower. So we go down the runway, take off after the tower, and then after the tower, we go around the space center and then under the bridge, we must go under the bridge, do a backflip, and then land on the roof of the VAB. Whichever craft does this, not the quickest because I'm not going to time it, but just whichever craft does this the best, manned or unmanned or womanned, will get to go to space. Does that all make sense? I hope it does. Anyway, here we go! The Duna... Uh, no, not the Duna, the Fire Spitter Light. The Fire Spitter Light is off first, and I have taken off early. I have been disqualified for taking off too early. Uh... Okay. It appears, it appears, uh, I've forgotten the rules already. Uh, reset, 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 reset. Okay. I should have done a quick save first, I think. Uh... Turn it 
Turn up the throttle, take off the brakes, stay down on the runway, preferably a little bit, a little bit longer. We need to get past this tower. Oh, it's doing a splendid job. Now take off. Landing gear up. Tilt. Go around. The launch pad. Don't cross the line. Don't cross the line. Not that that matters. I've made up the rules. The game is rigged already. Shh. Samantha gets to win. Um, we're going this way. Gonna turn around. Gotta go through the bridge. Through the bridge. This vehicle has plenty of speed, as you can tell, these engines. Now this, I have not modified the config files at all. These engines are just this good. They just are. Okay, and... It's a little big. Oh, she's alive? Fantastic, okay. Okay, let's let's go to the other plane real quick and and <laughs> Here we are. Okay, let's go. All right. So the big question is, will this one Okay, it's already taken off. Can't take the landing gear up till we pass the tower? Not sure why, just because Go this way, go around the water tower. And looking good, looking good. We're gonna go. Okay, we gotta make it through the bridge. We gotta avoid the big. Uh... Okay, we gotta avoid the big. Planetarium in the way. That was the big problem with the other one. Also crashed. Also crashed. Okay, we get to do a reset. We get to do a reset. Let's reset. To launch. Alright, reset. Alright, okay. So whichever vehicle completes this first gets to go to space. Okay. Revised rules. Whichever vehicle gets to go to sp yes, whichever vehicle finishes first goes to space. All right, are you ready for round two, Samantha? Yes, we're ready. Taking off right behind. All right, Samantha breaking the rules, taking up the landing gear first. What's wrong with you, Samantha? Are you are you trying are you trying to lose? I think she's trying to lose. She's she's banking around early. What are you doing? You're supposed to go around the launch pad, not not through it. Oh, it appears it appears Samantha wants to just focus on the bridge. The bridge being the most important part of this challenge to her. I commend you, Samantha, for uh, focusing on the part that is most difficult to your respective probe. Uh, Colleagues, oh, you've cut the engines. What are you? Oh, you're taking it slower. Speed being against you. Okay, interesting. Did not expect that. Going through the bridge. Uh, I think she might do it. I think she might. I think she might have this. Underneath. And, oh, but can can you can you land it? Can you land it? I don't think so. I don't think she can land it. Okay. Well, and... And she's alive. Made it through the bridge, but did not get it on top of the vehicle assembly building. Let's go over to the other vehicle. And the probe core light is going... Up, 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 up. Dup, 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 dup. I don't understand that language. It's okay. It's okay. We don't have to. Oh, and and look at this. Just look, just just turning around immediately already. What? How are you? What are you doing? 
No idea. Alright, alright, this is getting tense. This is getting really tense. Alright, also cutting the power. Interesting strategy. Oh, but what's this? The landing gear are out already. Are you that cocky? Probe core is very cocky. It's like, I'm going to win this. Alright, and already throttling up. No, you don't say. Impossible. And has landed on the vehicle assembly building, albeit in pieces. Okay, the probe core has won half a point. However, you must land your full vehicle on top in one piece. All right, we'll take this back to the start and start again. Okay, we're going to start with Samantha. Oh, what is this? What is this? The probe core has cheated. No, you will be disqualified. Not if I do this first, says Samantha. Samantha gets off the ground and is flying and is going to beat the Duna Light to the punch, hopefully. Uh, even though... Oh no! And, and she even spiked the punch with a virus! With a computer virus! Uh, isn't that fantastic? Alright, alright, alright. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this, Samantha. You know you want to. Okay. Power up. Yes, that's it. That's it. You've you've got it. You've got it. You've got it. We've got it. And we broke the building. Uh That didn't that didn't happen. All right, it's Samantha's turn again. She's about to take off. She's taking off. She's taking off. And what is this? She says that the VAB is all that matters. She does not intend on going down through the bridge. Interesting. Let's see if she can do it. She's got a long lineup. And she did it! She landed on the vehicle assembly building! Amazing! Amazing achievement! Not a single part broken! Samantha, you are the first Kerbal to have done this! What do you have to say for yourself? I'd like to thank all my fans for uh, believing in me and also uh, I'm, I'm, gonna board, I'm gonna board the craft again and take off. Alright! Thank you for watching this Fantastic! Oh, you're going the, you're going the wrong way. Fantastic achievement of Kerbal Kind. I'm Batbeard. Thank you for watching Kerbal Space Program for fun. I will see you in the next episode where we go to space. Okay, everybody, we're coming into Duna, and uh, I think this is going to be pretty funny because... I don't have a lot of fuel, so I can't take the... Uh... <laughs> I can't take the craft close to the planet, slow it down, and all of that. We're gonna have to air brake. And so we're gonna come in at 15 kilometers. I have no idea if that's enough friction and heat to blow everything up. If it is, then we'll have to do this a few times. Here we go with test landing number one of the Duna Delivery. Oh my!
my god! <laughs>